Hey guys, it's Tiasa here again. Welcome to another video review. So today I'll be doing a review of the Logic Tech G303 gaming mouse. So this would be an upgrade review from the Logic G302 as really it does sport basically the same uh, shape and the same feel except they upgraded the sensor, they added an RGB and also they added a braided cable and also a couple of new buttons. So I'm going to be talking about mainly uh, at this price point whether a new G303 is worth it over the G302 if you have the G302 or if you've never had the G303 and you just want to try it out, whether it's worth it as well. So, um, some background, I think you can probably get, uh, on the price point, you can probably get this at $69.99 or $59.99. It's a fairly, fairly cheap mouse. I think a year ago, this is an old mouse, uh, a year ago it was going at $79.99 or $8.99, and it did sport one of the best uh, performing sensors out there, namely the uh, Pixar P uh, 3388 I believe. And because it's one of the sensors which was... Uh, um, not publicly available. I mean the one publicly available is the 3310 So this was the only mouse at the time I think it was uh, six seven months ago when it was released or a year ago that did support this sensor So definitely in the sensor upgrade area uh, it performs like, like, extremely extremely well There's nothing no problems with the max uh, tracking and definitely at the higher uh, our DPI settings it tracks quite well So with the DPI uh, the change from the older AM010 uh, mouse which did have to th that it was called like the hyper it used the same uh, uh sensor as like the g402 the hyperferion so to be honest uh, in terms of tracking speed well sometimes when you went up to like three meters per second four meters per second it didn't track that well so they did uh, decide to implement a better sensor in and it performs very very well in terms of the shape if you've used the g302 before it's basically the same uh shape as that so you can see it's a fairly small mouse. Uh, it's a little bit heavy actually. It's actually 87 grams uh, for a small mouse. I guess that's, it's relatively light, but I think it's still, you would feel a little bit of the weight. Um, it has an awkward shape. I think that's the main thing that people complain about the G302. However, but the shape allowed you to really like, claw, claw grip it quite nicely. And actually did, if you did claw grip it, did make, at least when I used it playing Dota, it allowed me to make more precise movements uh, quite uh, quickly. More so compared to a lot of the other mice. However, I wouldn't say it's a very, very comfortable mouse. However, I can say that the shape does allow me to make more micro movements uh, uh, quite well. I think if you're co comfortable with the G302, this would definitely be up your alley. If you didn't like the G302, you probably wouldn't like this mouse either. And I think if you were just going it for the sensor, I wouldn't really recommend it. Other things they upgraded, they definitely they upgraded the uh, RGB, which is pretty cool. I think this is pretty common standard along a lot of new mice, a lot of flagship mice, you can upgrade the RGB. Um, they did add two side buttons here, which is quite convenient. I think they didn't have the side buttons before, um, so it just provides a little bit more uh, utility. And also they actually added two new mouse feet, if you can see right here on the bottom, on the left and the right. Uh, the G302 didn't have that, so a lot of people had problems uh, when they were picking up the mouse, um, it, it kind of caused like a lift, a uh, slight lift that was uh, uh, really quite uncomfortable. It stopped tracking. So this really solves that problem. So you can't, it doesn't like lift as much every time we just pick up the mouse. Um, so in that sense, I think it's quite good that they added that and they that did in a new refresh. Another refresh they did was the braided cable. This is a personal preference. I personally don't like it, but uh, that's what it is. Um, overall, for its upgrade for $69.99, I think I pretty much uh, talked about everything uh, in terms of me, an upgrade. If you like the GF302, this would be up your alley. If you didn't like the GF302, this won't be up your alley. And if you've never used the G302 or the 303, this is a very good performing mouse at a pretty good price point. However, the shape is something that I would highly recommend you trying it out because the the ambidextrous shape and also um, it's a fairly small form factor and really, really not by not for you and a lot of you have complained about it so i hope you guys like the g303 uh, i think personally it's a fairly i i mean in terms of performance I, it has helped me perform quite well however i wouldn't say it's the most comfortable mouse uh compared to maybe the rival uh not the rival sorry the Munich caster which is uh i put in a very very similar um i guess the smaller form factor um I guess category and also with the rival for example rival 100 which is slightly newer not also that new but i just bought it recently so i'll be doing a review on this mouse um it's probably not as comfortable as the rival 100 either so hope you guys like that video review and uh stay tuned because i'll be doing a review of the final mouse 2015 and also hopefully the rival 100 and 300 as well so thanks for watching guys again